that when the video is already starting out like this. So, hello! My name is Mink and Maria, and I am your independent chalk couture designer. And you know it's going to be a long video. When you start out and you sit in your chair, and it is completely sunk down because your eight-year-old was playing in your little craft room this afternoon. Oh my goodness. So, <laughs> I started giggling, so sorry. Hey, Jane, happy Sunday night. We are going to kick off the week here with a little bit more of our back to basics. And um, I wanted to talk tonight about one of those, you know, you make a beautiful sign, right? This is one of my very favorites. Love these mittens, but I don't know about you, but I am personally done, done with the snow and the rain and the cold weather. So it's time for this bad boy to go. So if you've ever been in a situation where you've got something beautiful and you love it, but you're just kind of done with it, tonight we're talking about how we solve that. Um, so this is a really nice Grayson chalkboard, and we are going to show you tonight what you do. And the very first thing you do is you need to wash your chalkboard. And chalk is chalk. It's semi-permanent. And it's, it dries hard. So you can go like this all you want, and this chalk isn't going to go anywhere. But you can remove it by doing a very simple thing. You spray her with water. You give it a minute so that the chalk starts to absorb up the um, water. And then we wash it off. And our... Dun, 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 oh, my prized possession. Our... Um, chalk couture fuzzing slash washing off board rag or towel it's not a rag oh my gosh oh, it's probably never going to talk to me again you would never call this a rag this is a beautiful towel <laughs> is saved for just these situations and our chalk couture board eraser will help us take this beautiful image off so that we can replace it with and suddenly you became my everything. And ladies, check out the flowers on this one. Oh my goodness. I have, ever since I got this transfer, I have been dying, waiting to make these beautiful flowers. And obviously, the biggest challenge in making the flowers is going to be what color to make them. So, um, I pulled out some colors and I think we're, we're good to go with options. So hello there, Julie and Tammy and Jane and Jan. Oh my goodness, Ma Molly's here too. Holy cow, welcome everybody. Um, we are going to get busy as we are kind of sticking with our getting back to basics. So last, light, last night's video was all about, you know, the basics of chalking. And tonight is going to be a little bit about the cleaning of chalking. And how do you change projects on a board? Because that's probably one of the nicest features about these transfers is you can wash it off and change it. So you don't have to um, invest a ton of money in a surface because if you buy a good quality surface from the beginning, you can reuse it over and over and over again. So we have sprayed this with water. We have our chalkboard eraser and we just erase just like that. It is this simple. Now, I probably don't have enough water on here, so I will add more probably as we go because the, these mittens have a lot of paste on them. But, oh, my goodness, these mittens were super popular, very pretty, um, and tons of fun to make. Oh, my gosh, we did, I did so many different things with these gorgeous mittens. But I'm done. I am ready for spring. I am done with this weather. I am ready to see the sun. I'm ready to stop shoveling. I'm ready to stop bundling my kids up for the bus. I am just ready for a little sunshine. I unfortunately have a ways to go. <laughs> but we're getting there. We are getting there. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Debbie. Mental note. No sound might be on mute. Tammy, can you hear me now? Can everybody else hear me? Tammy's saying she can't. And I have had that issue every once in a while, but I've found pretty much every time it's not on my end. So, ladies, let me know. So I will, I, I will, you know, this is true confessions, right? <laughs> Why else would you do a live video? You need to throw your life out there. 
So some of our viewers are actually here this evening. So I would think they'd be in here yelling at me if they can't, couldn't hear me. So Tammy, check on your end. Make sure you've got your volume up all the way. And in the past, when people have had that issue, what they've done is they've rebooted their phone. And then they could hear me. Oh, you can hear me. Oh, you had it on mute. Okay, good. You know, Tammy, technology's not my thing. <laughs> so I'm glad it's on your end and not mine, because God knows it could be on mine. So I'm just washing off our board. I took our board eraser, and I washed it all off. And I'm now just taking a baby wipe, but you wouldn't have to use a baby wipe. You could use um, paper towel and some water and just kind of getting that excess because you see it's got all kinds of paste all over it. You know, that paste has got to go somewhere, so you have to give it a place to go. So we do that, and now here comes my lovely, lovely towel. And I'm just going to wipe it off. And I'm going to have basically a brand new chalkboard to start all over on. And It'll be dry and beautiful and ready to go. So I'm trying to be a good girl because those other girls are in the other room and they're kind of naughty sometimes. So I'm, I'm waiting for them to do a photo bomb and all of a sudden we're going to have them in here. Mm -hmm. They're a little crazy. <laughs> it's so much fun to tease them when they're in the other room <laughs> versus in another state, which is where they usually are. Okay, everybody can hear me. Okay, good. Hey, Maddie. Happy Sunday night, Maddie. Welcome, welcome. I'm just throwing it on the floor. Okay. And suddenly, you became my everything. So, obviously, for weddings, this is gorgeous to make for weddings. I also think it's really pretty for babies. If you skip the flower part and suddenly became my everything, I think... You know, I have baby brain, right? Because we're having a baby here pretty soon, any day, right? We're having a baby. Um, not me. My my niece. My my niece. I'm getting another great niece. Any day. So, um, I have baby brain. What, what can you do in a transfer with a baby? So, this could be hot spouse. This could be, you know, let's face it. This could be a dog, a cat, a pet. It doesn't just have to be a human. <laughs> I don't, your, your dog or cat couldn't read the sign. That's okay. So we're going to put, I think, so this is our big decision. Flowers on the top, flowers on the bottom. So vote while I'm, <laughs> I'm working on this. Give me a vote. What do you think? Flowers on the top or flowers on the bottom? I kind of like it. I don't usually go top heavy, but I kind of like top. But I'm open. These are your options. So if you, yeah, I like top. But you guys let me know. What do you think, top or bottom? While you guys are voting, I'm going to get our pace all ready to go. And we are going to do a new technique tonight. Well, not a new technique, but a technique we haven't done in a while. One of my personal faves. We're going to do a hot mess. Uh, Maddie says flowers on top. Maddie? I knew I was going to like you, Maddie. I knew it, knew it, Maddie. Tammy says top two. Ooh, Tammy, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, there's really no, I like you all. It doesn't matter whether you say top or bottom. <laughs> I like the fact that you guys just, you know, want to watch my whole crazy hangout. Because that's pretty much what happens on these videos is the real crazy Maria comes out. Ooh, Molly says bottom. We got two votes for top. One vote for bottom. The only problem with putting them on top is they are wider. More wide, wider. Oh, wider's right. Yeah, I, I don't know. We could put behind and put the words on top of it. But why would you want to cover up these gorgeous flowers? All right, we're gonna try top, and if we don't like top, we'll switch to bottom. Because again, we can wash it off and just start all over again, unless somebody else has a really strong opinion. I think this is a brand new honeydew. Oh, it's not. Okay. So, we are going pale and muted. And guess what colors we're doing? We're doing pink for our new little baby girl that's coming. Oh, goodness. She can't get here fast enough. But she needs to wait just a little bit longer. She's not due to come for 
a few more weeks here, so she's got to cook just a little bit longer, but I don't think she wants to. <laughs> I think she's saying I'm ready. We're all right, so what we do is we get all of our chalk paste ready to go before we even think about adding chalk to our will be beautiful any way you do it. Oh, thanks, Molly. See, I knew I was going to like you, Molly, too. <laughs> I like everybody. You're not that way. Hey, Debbie. Mm -hmm. Debbie's in the other room, ladies. Mm -hmm. They're teasing me now. All right, so I'm going to get my little stir sticks all ready. I need to get out more of my really pretty Chuck Couture ones. I like the Chuck Couture ones better than the ones I bought off of Amazon because they're a little more sturdy. So they don't seem to have quite as much give, which gives me a little more um, stirring power. So I've got my cherry blossom, which is almost out. But I have another one, so I'm not too worried about cherry blossom. But this, we have plenty to do our project here. And we're going to do honeydew for the leaves, and we're just going to do the flowers in a really pretty combination of the pinks in what's called a hot mess technique. And I know you all have friends out there that need to learn this gorgeous hot mess technique with this beautiful transfer. So all you have to do so that they can learn all about this too is hit the share button. And if you hit the share button, they can see it too. So whether you're watching me live or you're watching the replay, if you could please share my video, it does very much help me. Um, and I very much, very, very much appreciate it. So if you get an opportunity to hit share, please do so. All right, so we are just stirring up. You get them all stirred and ready. And as you're stirring your paste, as you saw me do, I open them up, I take a look at them, I give them a stir. If they look a little dry and they're not the sour cream yogurt consistency, then I just add a spritz of water and I keep stirring them up. And then they're good to go. This little pink separated here a little bit. Okay, so we're going to do the flowers in our combination of pinks and one peach, really. So I have cherry blossom pink. I have the new peony, which I don't even like pink. And this is a beautiful color. And then we have peachy keen. And peachy keen, to me, is pink. I know it's not. It's peachy, but it goes well with these colors. We're going to do our leaves in honeydew. And then our other question is, should we do our words in white or fresh linen, which you all know I call dirty linen, but it's not dirty. <laughs> it's fresh linen. It just looks like a dirty white to me. It's a super, super pale gray white. Um, truly became one of my favorite colors quickly. One of those I didn't think I was ever going to use, and then you open it up and you use it, and like, oh my gosh, next thing you know, you've got fresh linen on every single project you ever made. Yeah, that's that's what this color is. Um, so I, I think one of those two. We could also do the words in honeydew, because I think that would be nice to complement the leaves. So we're going to do the flowers first, and then we're going to come back to which color should we do the words in. So you got some time to process, ladies, and to think about that. So I have my chalks all stirred and ready. And what I do, because I know I'm not going to use these guys for a little bit, is I just let them sit with their tops on them. And that way they don't dry out as quickly. So I take my project. We've already washed it all off. Hey, Stacy, welcome to the party. Tammy says that gray might be pretty because you said she will have gray in the baby's room. You're right. Boy, Tammy, good memory, Tammy. I did say that. Her colors, well, gray is her favorite color. And, um, well, I don't know if it's her favorite color, but it's the color she wears in almost all of her clothing. And the baby's room is gray. And she's just did some little pops of pink in it. So, um, that might not be a bad idea, Tammy. We'll see. I'm not sure it's gonna be, if it's going to be bright enough. So we'll do the flowers first, and then we'll go from there. So I have my towel my lovely chalk couture towel. And there's two sides to this towel. There's the microfiber side, which is what you saw me wash the board off with, or wipe the board off with. And then there is a terry cloth side. And this is the side that we use for fuzzing. 
What is fuzzing, you say? Well, let me tell you. Fuzzing is when you take your beautiful brand new transfer, but first, before you do anything, you take your Sharpie and you write on the back of it flowers so that you know which side is the back and which side or which transfer it is. So it's much easier to put them away when you know. You take your transfer, you lay it face down, and you peel off the backer. Now it's very sticky, so you're very careful that your transfer does not touch itself. Because if your transfer touches itself, it's very hard to um, get it apart, and you risk putting holes in your transfer, which ruins your transfer. So you want to be careful. You don't want it to touch, okay? So you take it, and oh goodness, baby, this guy is sticky. So very common with brand new ones. So you take your transfer and you put it on your fuzzing towel and you pick up the lint that's on the towel. Now, do you need a fancy chalk couture fuzzing towel? No, you don't. It's very nice to have though because it's double sided and it's a really nice size for the transfers. But you can use any towel. You can use your blue jeans. I've used my sweatpants. I've used my bathrobe. I've used all kinds of different things. Anything that has lint to it, you can use to pick up fuzz. Now this one I am actually fuzzing several times just because it's super sticky. And you know as soon as you pull them off the backer, if they're brand new, which is this one is, it's going to be super sticky. Um, if it's been used a few times, you probably don't need to fuzz it this many times. I like to fuzz often because I'm going to want to get the longest life I can out of my transfer. And the better you take care of them, the longer they last. So I'm going to put our beautiful flowers down and I'm going to center it. Now, you can use a ruler if you want to make sure you're exactly in the middle. Um, I'm way more of an eyeballer than I am of a measurer. As we've all talked about in many videos, hanging pictures at my house is very entertaining <laughs> because I'm pound the nail and hang it up and if it's not straight, take it out and pound a new nail. And my husband, bless his soul because he has to deal with me, he uh, pulls out the level and the tape measure and yeah, he gets a much larger production, but I will tell you, he's way more accurate <laughs> and he does a much better job of it with his um, tools, many many tools <laughs> that we use to I lost your comments so hang on I'm trying to get your comments back okay because it's much easier for me to read them down there and then I'm not squinting at you so I look like this in the whole video so we have our flowers down I need to make sure my words still fit that I didn't put it up too high or too low and when you look at the transfer you're gonna see the parts to it so there are these gorgeous flowers, and then there's these leaves right here. The leaves we're going to do in green, and the flowers we're going to do in hot mess. And I think that'll be okay. Oh. <laughs> it's just been one of those days, ladies. <laughs> so, every single time sure where your hanger is because if I do this at this point my flowers are upside down so before you put your transfer down always check to see where your hanger is because you want to make sure you put it on the right side because you're either doing one of two things if you do it wrong you're either moving your hanger or you're washing your transfer off and starting over now these flowers I think are pretty much mirrored you could probably do them either way um, Always check. Always know where your hanger is. And you've watched plenty of videos of me where at the end of it I realized I did it the wrong way. Because I'm not always the most careful <laughs> chalker. Um, because I'm trying to get things done quick and speedy so that you guys get a great opportunity to see some chalk in action but aren't spending your whole night watching me yammer at you. As you all know, I'm long winded. I talk a lot, you watch me. Okay, so our transfer is good and ready to go. The hot mess technique is super easy to do, but first I'm going to do our green flowers. And I'm going to do our green flowers first because I'll have less likelihood in the way I chalk in 
putting the hot mess someplace I don't want it to be if I do our green flowers first. And I don't want the flowers to be hot mess. And I know I keep talking hot mess and I'm just assuming you all know what the heck I'm talking about. I freeze every night. <laughs> and it's always like the most unattractive picture of me that you have to look at for that 10 to 15 seconds. <laughs> I'm sorry. We actually potentially have the technology that arrived today thanks to my lovely friends that are here um, to solve that problem. So maybe, fingers crossed, we, we're going to solve that problem. So as I was saying, we're going to start with our green flowers first so that I have less likelihood of putting hot mess. Um, the hot mess technique is where you take the colors and you dot it and you kind of blend them together. And by blending them together, you give yourself this very cool, almost like, um, it's not camouflage because they're similar colors, but this blending of the colors together um, that gives you different dimensions and different colors without having to actually go in and do every single little spot. It's a really, really nice, especially beginner, technique um, because it gives you the, the vibrancies of all the different colors, but at the same time, um, it uh, has really good results for you. So I'm going to start with my honeydew. Honeydew is a very pale green. And I'm going to go around and anywhere I see a, flower, or a leaf, I'm going to put honeydew. And I'm going to put my honeydew on a little more thick than I normally would because I know it's going to sit there for a little bit while I go around and do my hot mess. So I'm going to be somewhat um, thicker, more thick than I would normally be. I need to figure out the English on that. Is it thicker or is it more thick? Hey, Virginia! Happy Sunday! Welcome to the party, Virginia! We're glad you're back. So I'm just filling in my leaves with my honeydew. And then we're gonna go around and we're gonna do our hot mess pink flowers. And I'm gonna try not to get these bulby guys cause there's some flowers that are not open yet. They kind of look like leaves <laughs> and I don't wanna do that. I wanna leave them in the hot mess. So as you see, I'm just kind of going around and I am doing this, filling it in. So I've got one more leaf over here and then we're moving on to hot mess. So this transfer, the, and suddenly you became my everything. Oh, I'll get to that. Let's do hot mess quick. So I take my colors and I just dab. And that's a big glove over there. You don't need a ton because when you squeegee these colors together, you can't put this back in your paste container. If you put this back in your paste container, you'll contaminate your color, and you don't want to do that. So I just put dabs of color, but that's why you don't want a ton, because otherwise you're just wasting paste. And you take your colors, you dab them, and then we're going to squeegee them together. And that's what will give us the beautiful different dimensions of the different colors. Now when you're dabbing, you're careful that you're not putting your glob down inside of one of the other colors and then putting it in your um, paste because that too will contaminate your color. So you just want to be conscious of everything you're doing as far as putting it. So you're dabbing, but you are you are dabbing with a purpose. Oh, dolloping. There we go. Oh, uh, Carol. Carol was the one that came up with dolloping. We're dolloping. We're not dabbing because we're Dolloping our sour cream consistency onto our transfer. <laughs> I love that. Because we're going to do a dollop with daisy sour cream. So I'm just getting, now this is my really pretty cherry blossom. That I'm getting down. So this should be some, this should be some interesting colors together. I think they're going to blend really well. Okay, I have way too much paste down at this point. So I take my squeegee. And I need to speed up my process because my green is drying. So see, I've got, I'm dolloped all over. See how my green, see the consistency of my green? I'm trying to get you a good light to see the green. My green is starting to dry. 
So I want to speed up what I am doing. So I just take this and I squeegee them together. Careful not to get it in my green. And then, oh, this is way too much paste. I used way too much paste. I just take this and I put it, ooh, I put it right in a wipe. Because you can't put it, unfortunately, you can't put it back in your container. Which is why I have way too much paste on here. Because I'm wasting a ton of paste. And paste lasts forever. It's, I mean, paste really goes a long way. So I wouldn't say this is even tie-dye or camouflage. It's just a really nice mixture of colors. So thank you, Virginia, for sharing my video. Um, if the rest of you could share, that'd be awesome. Okay, so I have it all on. See, now it's all squeegeed. Oops, I need to go back. I need to squeegee off the excess of the green that I put on so I don't have those big globs and I can put the green right back in my container because I didn't contaminate my green and then I pull my transfer and by pulling my transfer I started in the corners to get it up and then I pull from the middle oh goodness ladies Ooh, we did a good color choice oh my, I love this oh goodness goodness I love it okay ready Wow, this is so pretty. Holy cow. All right, check it out. I'm trying to get you a bit. There you go. That's a better, where you can see the colors. So see how the colors are just kind of mixed together? That's what the hot mess technique looks like. So I'm hoping you can see actual colors. And then look at how pretty the honeydew looks with it. The honeydew looks awesome. Because again, it's just a nice pale green. Thank you, Stacy. I think it's fantastic, too. It, this is probably a little more mature of a flower arrangement than the new baby, but it's gorgeous. <laughs> Either way. So I'm going to dry it because if I don't dry it, I'm going to stick my finger in it. And when I stick my finger in it, I ruin it. So I'm just going to give it a quick dry. It doesn't take very long at all. So... Thank you, Virginia. I agree. It is really pretty. Hey, Jane. Okay, so I'm just giving it a quick dry. No, it was itchy. Sorry. And as you'll notice when you're actually in person with the chalk, when the chalk dries, they dry a brighter color than when they're wet most of the time. So I'm going to show it to you again now that it's dry. And it might be a little easier to see the colors. Maybe if I go back farther. There you go. See all the difference? In the colors. This is really pretty. I'm not sure we're gonna like it on the top. We'll see. Okay, so moment of truth, ladies. What color should we do the words in? Should we do them in white, which would be bright, fresh linen, which would be the, the pale, pale gray, or we could do them in the green, the honeydew, the pale green. What do you think? While you're voting, I'm going to talk to you just a little bit about Club Couture um, because I'm about to start posting stuff in the Maria VIP group about Club Couture because I got my transfer. Oh my gosh, I got my transfer. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. There's so many cute things I'm starting to see with this month's transfer, which says be fabulous on it for those. And I, those of you, I think our club members got it already, so I'm not spilling the beans too much. But it says be fabulous on it and has this big, like a bright, a big spray of color that comes behind the be fabulous. I'll show it. I didn't bring it down here, so I'm sorry, but I'll show it to you tomorrow because we're getting ready to start making it. And um, that is something that is an exclusive transfer through the club. And Club Couture is a $19.99 a month subscription service that, like magic, a new transfer each month comes to your door with three paste colors so you get the opportunity to um, use the transfer and play with different colors every month and it's a great opportunity to kind of get your feet wet with club couture and not invest you know lots and lots of money and yet still have lots of fun so if you're interested in club couture please type in the comments club and i'm more than happy to send you the link so you can check it out and see if it's something you would be interested in doing or not um, but it's 
really easy. It's $19.99 a month. After three months, you can cancel it at any time. There's not. It's not a big commitment to um, doing it. Hey, Heather. Welcome, Heather. So Heather says, fresh linen and green, and the green make it pop. I agree. Virginia says fresh linen. So, Heather, are you saying to do both colors with the words? Because we could do that. We could do... I don't want to do hot mess on the words, but we could do not all the words in the same color. We could totally pick different colors. Like, we could do and in one color, suddenly in another. You became, you know, alternate it. We could do half and half. What do you think, Heather? You think, or anybody for that matter, what do you think? Should we do two colors in the words or just one? And while you're voting, because there is a delay from, I'm going to, while you're voting, I'm going to cover up my colors here because I don't want them to dry out. Hey, Lisa Elliott. Welcome to our Sunday night chalking party. We are having a ton of fun tonight. We are making some cool stuff. So we're trying to decide our color on what color to make our words. And we're either going with fresh linen, oh, I'll leave them up here so you can see it. Fresh linen, honeydew, or white. Maddie says fresh linen. Virginia says fresh linen. Heather, where'd Heather go? Heather, where'd your comment go? Oh, there you go. Heather says fresh linen and green. So you just gotta figure that one out because that could be interesting. Heather says do suddenly and everything in green. Oh, that's not a bad idea, Heather. Suddenly and everything in green and the rest in fresh linen. That's an interesting idea. That's not a bad idea. Ladies, what do you think? Let's, you know what? We, heck, let's try it. If we don't like it, we'll wash it off. I, everybody's pretty much in agreement on the whole fresh linen, so. I don't think we can go wrong with fresh linen. Ooh, hey Cheryl, welcome. Cheryl says she likes Heather's idea. Molly, Molly's a fresh linen kind of gal. All right, so these are the beautiful flowers we have started with. And they we did those in a hot mess technique with the different pinks. And now we're gonna move on to our words. So I'm going to, again, lay my transfer down and write on the back of it. And I'm just going to write and suddenly, because then I know, first of all, which side is the back. And I also know um, which transfer goes on what paper. <laughs> Lisa. Lisa Elliott says, I have to say Lisa Elliott. Sorry, Lisa, because there's another Lisa. Um, don't do black. <laughs> you know Lisa knows. Lisa knows me far too well, and I could totally do black. <laughs> not even think about it. All right, so we take our towel and we're going to fuzz, 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 fuzz. So we're going to pick up our lint because this, again, is a brand new, very sticky transfer. And by fuzzing, 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 it allows the uh, transfer to pick up some of the lint, makes it not quite as sticky, so it doesn't stick as hard to my board, so that when I go to pull up my transfer, it, it's not so hard on the transfer. It is a definite thing for the longevity of my transfer. So I fuzz, fuzz, fuzz because this one's super sticky and um, brand new. So we're going to lay down our words, line them up so that we have good spacing. So I have, and I am going to actually, oh my gosh, <laughs> we should put this day on the can later. I actually am pulling out a ruler. <laughs> I never pull out a ruler. So we've got about two inches on the top and we want about two inches on the bottom. At the moment we've got about three inches on the bottom. So I am going to bring it down a little bit. Because I do like to have them symmetrical to the board. So I'm going to bring her down a little bit. It doesn't, ha you know, it doesn't have to be exact, but it should be kind of close. Okay, we're kind of close now. So then the next thing I have to do is make sure that I'm straight. And I am. So I just push out the air so that when I squeegee away, I do not have to worry about the air getting underneath my transfer and pushing my paste underneath, and then I have what's called a bleed. So I think we are 
going to do, now I do have to say, white is kind of a contender here. But I love fresh linen, so we're going to do the and you became my in this color. And then we're going to do the other two in honeydew. And if we don't like it, we'll wash it off and change it. So I put my little bit of paste down. I squeegee up and down. I don't squeegee flat. If I squeegee flat, all I get is big blobs. So I get, need a little more paste on this one up here. Didn't put enough down. And I'm careful not to get the paste on the other line. Because then, then we're doing the whole thing in fresh linen if that happens. <laughs> it's very hard to without pulling up the transfer and washing it off, you're not gonna get rid of the color. Once you, once you put it through the transfer, it's there. There's a few tricks if you just get a little tiny bit, but if I, I'm a fast squeegee person, and once I do that, then um, I'm in trouble. So this is a really nice uh, wedding transfer. I, again, I'm on baby, I'm on baby patrol, so um, I'm in baby brain mode. Because I do think, you know, once those little people are born, they do become your everything, aside from your spouse. Your spouse should always be number one. But they, they like to be way more demanding. So now I'm going to do this suddenly. So if you get an opportunity to share my video, thank you very much. We talked about Club Couture, and again, you can put uh, club if you're looking for information about the club. And the last piece of information I want to share is if you are interested or curious at all about what Chuck Couture is all about and uh, what it means to be a designer, um, you can uh, comment interested and I will send you some information about having as much fun as me because it is a lot of fun. It's a ton of fun. I have met so many amazingly wonderful people and I have had so much fun and it's just a whole community. I have loved every single minute of this since I started it. Because I really started as a hobby, as a way to pay for my own hobby. Because <laughs> I love to do this, but, you know, you don't want to pay for it. So, I'm ready to pull my transfer. Started in the corner, pull from the middle. And, careful. Thank you for sharing, Jan. I kind of like it in the two colors. So, when I pull my transfer, I pull straight up and down. I don't pull like this. By pulling straight up and down, it eliminates some of the curling that happens with your transfers. Otherwise, they curl up like Christmas ribbon. And then, and then I just take my transfer, and I have a water bath right here, and I stick it in the water bath. Once they're in the water bath, they're no longer sticky. Okay, so this is what we have. And suddenly, you became my everything. I kind of like the two colors. What do you guys think? Do you like the two colors? It's kind of cool. Probably easy. I don't know if it's easier for you to see farther. Thanks, Cheryl. I think it looks awesome, too. How'd your inking go, Cheryl? Did you ink this weekend? Cheryl was going to ink some towels. What do you think? Pretty cool. Okay. So this is our project. I think I've covered all of my information that I needed to cover with you all this evening. It is Sunday night. We are going live every day for the next couple. Well, we go live every day anyway, so we're going to continue to go live. If you have any questions or you're interested in these transfers, this particular pro that's what I was telling you before. This transfer is a C size transfer, so it's uh, 12 by 18, and it is a 23.99 transfer. This is the Grayson board. If you're ever interested in a chalkboard, this is the Grayson chalkboard. Um, this is. Uh, fits perfectly for these transfers and as you saw when we started out the video it had a completely different transfer on it we washed it off so it's a really easy and very nice board oop Cheryl didn't ink yet you're gonna have to post pictures Cheryl when you make your creations we all want to see them thanks everybody I'm glad you all think this is so pretty because I kind of have to say I agree I think it's pretty too it's probably too mature for a baby though right we didn't give this to the baby. We've got another really cute one we're going to make here in the next couple days for the baby. Provided she doesn't arrive. She needs to hang on just a little longer. But I'm... <gasps> hey! What point have we reached? Oh! We've reached the point Maria's rambling. 
what happens when Maria rambles? We hit the finish button. <laughs> Thanks so much. Everybody, you have a fantastic evening. Great Monday, and we will talk at you tomorrow night. Thanks, guys. Bye.